Yeah, you know, here we are. Oh, Our the alley between Lowther and High Street. Yeah. It's just off of South Spring Garden. No Spring Garden. No, it's just off, it's near Porter Street, okay? Yeah. We're near Porter. And uh, you may not, there's a tot lot over there. Okay. And this used to, um, the fellow who bought the house over there supposedly has the rights to do that, block it off. Okay. So what about this? There's an electric line, and the car, this has gotten much worse since last fall. And look at this up here, see? And over yeah. here. And supposedly there are people renting these little garage areas out. They're renting them, but they're not too concerned with this. You mean, what if that blows over in a, in a really bad windstorm or a thunderstorm? That could take out the power to this entire area. Well, maybe not this entire area, but it could cause do a lot of damage to this. It could set fire to it. Yeah. So burn yeah. the tree, you know. Yeah. yeah. If you look on YouTube, there are videos where this kind of, where that kind of thing actually does set fire to the both the tree and everything else around it. Look up there. See where I'm pointing? At yeah. That? Okay. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, seriously. If you guys, if anybody knows who owns that and who's running these things out, sorry about that. If everybody knows who's running those out and who owns that house, please get their butts. Because that is a literal fire hazard. Oh, and it could kill people. But look at where it is. Okay. Yeah, that's the back end of voice right there. Yeah. There's. And the dry cleaner. Yeah, there's. High Street. Yeah. Yeah, I still get Hanover and High confused, and I've been here for for several years. Yeah. So there are so many things that could go wrong back here that it's unreal, and people don't care. They just rent the space out, and people are stupid enough to have park stuff back here. They're stupid enough to have anything in the building. Okay, tough. If it burns, it burns, but. There'll be a lot of damage, and you don't know who's going to get killed or hurt. Yeah. I mean, think about it, folks. I mean, we're... And if they're curious, that's where the meth house used to be. A few years back, we had somebody... Um, that's making... Mulberry Avenue right there. Yeah, where they used to make meth, and it used to stink to high heaven. We didn't know what the heck the stink was. And then one night, we heard gunshots. And apparently somebody got killed back here, across over in, in the out across the way. So now uh, it's gone. I don't know what happened to the meth house because it was contaminated and everything. But this is what's going. This has a bad reputation in this area. Yeah. Okay. And I, wasn't it a few years ago we, when before we bought our place that we were looking over there and we didn't like the looks of it? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So yeah. Also, side note. If you're looking to buy some place, trust your gut instincts on the neighborhood. Yeah. Don't buy near La Torte unless your house is really elevated, because those poor suckers like us who live near La Torte, we are we're getting swamped on flood taxes. Not taxes, flood insurance. insurance. Yeah, it's and it's not worth it. I don't know. He may not be paying a lot. Oh yeah, that's the back end of that. Yeah. Place. Yeah. I don't know if you can really tell, but. A lot of those windows are completely busted out and boarded up. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. And that house, the people live in New Jersey. Nobody ever comes over here. Yeah. One of these days was on. Oh, yeah. This is in front of that other house. Yeah, and sorry, guys. Try to get her used to doing the YouTube thing. Yeah, so. I'm not used to it. This is the front end of that house that the people live over in New Jersey, and they don't come here. Yeah, and that... A lot of work. Yeah. If somebody lives in it, it'd be happy, you know. Yeah. Oh. If, hey, if you know the guys and can get a hold of them to get fixed up properly, go ahead, because 
Hey, you see that? It's growing right on the exterior of the house, all that ivy. Mm -hmm. That's going to be destroying a lot of the, a lot of the stuff. Well, that's, that they could, you could use that uh, uh, organic type weed killer that I'm going to do. Yeah, and if you, anybody's interested, let us know. We're going to try and post the rest of the ingredients and stuff on on here, either on my YouTube channel under down in the description or on East over okay, on that's the, the other end, right here. That's the other part of that uh, storage, whatever the heck it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and again. Anybody need a bird in, bird in your belfry? <laughs> yeah. I know, bad joke, but... You be better than the bat. Well, I'd rather have the bat. The bats are cuter. Okay, and yes. Okay, this Lead is... toward again. And... The other end of that... Oh. Sorry, plate bug on my arm. The other end of the storage thing, and... That darn tree again. Yeah, maybe you can't see it as well. Well, I just zoomed in on it, so. Good. Good. And the borough cannot do anything about it. Because it's private property. And PPL can't find it, doesn't know what's going on, they can't be bothered. So we don't know. Oops, sorry about that close up. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys probably don't want to see my ugly mug that close up. You don't want a close-up of me. Yeah, I'm still trying to get her to get some makeup so we can actually uh, look better for YouTube. Oh, God, makeup. Hey. No, but, you know, that's more important than makeup. Yeah. Hey, if you guys think we should do a Patreon for the YouTube channel, let us know. Okay, I'll show you something. Okay. I don't know, Anyway, um... Okay, this is a better look at that hat. Okay, because you can see that whole area is in really bad shape. Okay? That looks like if anything does fall on it, that tree is so over that limb. Or limbs. That's so over. Yeah. That's going to take everything out. And we do, I do see pickup trucks driving back here and quite often yeah enough we do have people wandering back through the alley so yeah feel this tree this tree is supposedly historic or something uh and supposedly the county somebody doesn't want it taken down however a few years back about three four years ago part of it where you see uh, that huge crack that huge crack fell down on those garage top roofs and did damage. It missed our place by about a few feet, okay? However, now the idiots over here and McCarran Lumber and whoever owns that building haven't taken care of what's overgrowing on their property. And onto their roof. And onto the roof. Now, if you notice that, the, that tree limb right there, right? See how long, how heavy that is? And see how the tree is kind of leaning over towards the lumber. The old McCarran, uh, that's the, uh, what is that, the ribbon mill? Yeah, and this part right here where it's leaning on, that's a dance studio. Yeah. We're going to shoot, shoot that, let them see exactly. Because if they don't know, they should know where the McCarran lumber is. And the, uh, this ribbon mill, there's enough going on. Yeah, well, with the uh, catering and all that. and the. Yeah. You know, a few leaves. Okay, we got a few leaves going. And a shit ton of ivy that's pretty much killing the tree. Well, it did a number on it, but anyway, look at all the Yeah, and plus these two branches right here coming oh. down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like dangerous coming over this way. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Yeah, 
just yeah that's and there's that gas studio so who's going to suffer if this tree comes downward hey, just so you guys get the urban mill ballet that's the tree coming over up, over to the roof over there okay see that and they're worried about graffiti yeah Yeah, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's really over on their roof. It's leaning on the roof. Are you kidding? It's on it. The other thing I was going to suggest, if they want to see graffiti, take the Latorque Trail, go under. That's where they. That's what they're complaining. No, about. not that. That's the warehouse over here. Sorry, I got confused. Yeah, don't get confused. But if they really want to see graffiti, Latorque Trail, that 81 overpass over Latorque Creek. Yeah, Stream. down by yeah, down by the uh, school, by Lamberton. By you Lamberton, go. you you go back behind Lamberton, and walk that trail. And, and there is a shit ton of graffiti. Yeah, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> I mean, it could be much worse. Yeah, it could be, yeah, it could be the, like that prick over. Yeah, yeah, let's not get into that. Okay. Yeah, but seriously. Okay. And pardon the a swearing that comes out of me. That's no. uh, just how I am. I swear a lot. That's where that tree uh, trunk fell over. Okay, that's the that's where it was, and they had to cut it down, cut the rest of it down, and get rid of it. Okay, so it it, it did a lot of damage. But as you can see, oh yeah, look over here. Now you think the people over here would have a have a brain and figure out that they should take it down. And yes, if you guys are worried about financial stuff, there's such a thing as GoFundMe and the other crowdfunding websites. Use what you can to get money to take care of this shit. Okay? Yeah, but, yeah, but the thing is, these people may not be able to go on Facebook or do anything like that. And that's going to cost at least $2,500 to get rid of. Yeah. Because they have to take out the, tree, the everything. The roots and everything, get it down. Yeah, and main reason we know that figure is we had to take down a big ass Norway spruce that we had right, yeah. no, three feet. about three feet from our not, bathroom. Not, well, not even three feet. Yeah, it was yeah. maybe two and a half, if yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, that's how we can pretty much guesstimate how much that Mother Humper's gonna cost. And you know, when you have ivy, if you like ivy, <clears throat> You have to remember that ivy grows up on stuff. So you gotta keep it in check. Yeah, but not only that, that's damaging the uh, mortar and the bricks. Yeah. See what they had to do over here? Yeah. And that's that's not right. Okay, so, here's the back of the ones. Yeah. Just so you guys get a little bit better idea where we are. Yeah. So, uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, another little broken branch. Yeah, I'm not walking back there. Yeah. Okay, that's it from now on. We don't walk. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, guys, we're not trying to bust your chops, just trying to make you guys aware that, hey, you need to contribute more than just cleaning up and all that happy horse poop. You know, if you're really, if you're really into taking care of the east side of Carlisle, or even any part of Kyle in general. Walk around, note where there are problems, see what's why there are problems, what can they do about the problems, who's, who cares, who, who's, you know, yeah, whatever. And see, see if you can get hold of the property manager, property owners, and see if they need any kind of help to, to take care of stuff. Yeah, because I don't think these people could afford to take that down. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we could barely afford what we had to do and that was with all three of us working. Yeah. The other thing I was going to suggest, they're so concerned about up there by the War College in that little area. And it seems like 
that really doesn't uh, it, it doesn't um, it doesn't occur to him or them rather that they could come down this way and look around yeah. and see that there are other places that are maybe in worse shape. Yeah, that do need help. Yeah. And, and that, not just the random, oh, we'll help you pick up the garbage. See what people need financially to help them out. See what they, if they don't have a full mobility, like Bruce, my dad, her husband, he's got emphysema and COPD. He can't do a whole lot. He can't even walk five feet without having to stop and rest. Well, he may not even live longer, so, yeah. you know. Um, but my point is, you want to clean up Carlisle. You want to be proactive in the, in the in this town. And make it look nice. Find out what people need to do that. But maybe they could also, if a tree needs taken down, if they know somebody who will take it down, okay? Or at least trim the, the tree back. Yeah, like my one coworker will. I already gave his number out to one of you guys. Yeah. But I'm getting, the point is, you want Carlisle to be better. And make it actually worth the Strongest Town award. Yeah, and believe me, this is not, the, this is bullshit. Um, if you really want to make it this way, don't put in. You need to be not so much proactive, okay, in the sense that you're wandering around and looking at things. And saying, gee, that needs work. And then walk away. If you really want to help okay contact the people who own the property and say this is what we see happening do you need help okay. hi sorry hey it happens okay. just be careful yeah we have a lot of bikers yeah a lot of and people coming through there people yeah. walk through there yeah and this is why it concerns us okay yeah because a lot of times if i'm coming over from giant after doing some, I'll yeah. try and cut through there on my bike. Yeah, and, and if the tree branch, if the limb falls on someone, people park their cars back here. Okay, especially if they're over here for dance lessons. Well, that's where they park the car back there. So the tree falls, the limb, the tree limb falls. They're gonna get hurt. Yeah. Okay. Not only that. Okay. We don't know what's going on exactly with there because we don't know where that brewery is going in. That's 419 East High Street. Yeah, that is. Okay. So you get a better idea of what's going on where we are and not just Pitt Street and up in that area. Okay. Have lovely houses. You've got a nice area. It's not all that bad. It does look a lot better than it did when we first moved in the area. Yeah, it does. It does. And maybe one of these days we'll take a walk over there. And film it and just say... Mm, so not maybe film it, but just take a walk and see how it's changed. I want to see that warehouse. I want to see what's going on where that, um, where they, that place was for lease or for rent. Yeah. Okay? And I want to see what's going on. Whether they put a church in there or whatever they did. I want to see yeah. what's going on. Um, I'm not being nosy, but this is part of the community. Yeah. Okay? And if we wander around and you see us, or even if you don't know us, you say, what the hell are they doing here? And you've, you've seen our videos and you're wondering, well, what the, who the hell are they? Yeah. And you don't take notice of my YouTube name. Yeah. But, you know, we have all this. Now, you see, this is the alley. There's the court. Okay. Yeah, or there's just right past those trees over there. Yeah. So, you know. Anyway, I gotta get back to my gardening. I yeah. Hate, that's my therapy. I hate my job. Yeah, like I said in the last video, she works at the commissary. Not the greatest job in the world. It's a paycheck. Yeah. And most of us are looking for something else. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than having to clean up after kids. It's a lot better than janitorial. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you go there and work. Happily. Yeah. You could work on yeah. some checkout. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you guys want more videos, feel free to leave suggestions down in the like in the comments section. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to, please. I want to get my count up. Don't make well, me pout again. You well, don't want to be seeing that. What, pout? Yeah. Give me a dog eye look. Subscribe. Don't make mama sad. I don't oh, want a sad mama. Hey, subscribe. Please do something. Oh, uh, comment. Really. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> <coughs> yeah.
Yeah, we've both got the same virus that Mama over there brought home from work. Kind of as revenge for all the times I brought colds home from my job, from my old job. Well, it could be worse. Yeah, we and could I think both. actually this could be an allergy. Yeah. Because honestly, she does, we both do better outside than we do inside. Yeah. Heck, usually late at night, I'm usually coughing up along like nobody's business. Why are you filming me? Because <laughs> I can.